Now while he was in Jerusalem at the Passover festival, many people saw the signs he was performing and believed in his name. But Jesus would not entrust himself to them, for he knew all people. He did not need any testimony about mankind, for he knew what was in each person. If they believed, why did he not entrust himself to them? Clearly the words, many believed in him, are not said about a firm, and true faith, such as the faith of those who, after believing once that his words were true, considered him as a doctor of truth, without doubting the things said by him. That kind of faith is typical of the true believers. But here, John refers to people who were astonished by the events that happened and praised him as a great, and admirable man. In fact, not all of them approved his words by showing their respect for him to others. Such respect, too, is typical of true believers. So, he added, but Jesus on his part would not entrust himself to them. In these words there is a particular doctrine of the true faith. Indeed, the virtue of the knowledge of Christ is revealed through which he was not fooled by the outward appearance of those coming to him. Rather by recognizing precisely each of them for who they were, he knew already, who were the true disciples, and who were in doubt, and coming to him under false pretenses. Music